I was going to pay Lord Randall and his vase collection a visit, but the Downwind Thieves Guild beat me to the score. Word is that they haven't divvied the booty yet. Apparently their leaders, Donald and Reuben, are arguing over the prized Sapphire vase. Sounds like they could use a third party to settle their disagreement. Since I'm no mediator, I'll just steal the vase from them. They'll be so busy blaming each other, no one will suspect an outsider. The Downwinders run a gambling den called the Overlord's Fancy, which operates under a nearby restaurant. The guild's hideout is beneath the casino. I have a rough map of the complex I got from sources from the inside. Once I'm in the Overlord's Fancy, I'll have to search for the secret entrance to the hideout. I have to be careful. The Downwinders know me all too well. If they catch sight of me, they'll know who took the vase. Assuming they don't just kill me for trespassing. Finding the vase may prove difficult since I have no idea where it is. Should be a hot topic of conversation among the Downwinders. Maybe I'll be lucky enough to overhear where they're stashing it. Time to make a living. Hello, this is Fletcher Fox, and welcome to episode... I've lost count. Is this six? Of Let's Play Thief Gold. Remember all that talk of a Thieves Guild mission that was the single worst in the game and probably one of the longest? Here it is! I actually really like this mission, but honestly, if I'm being honest, it's the single worst mission in the game. It was not in the original version of the game. This was a mission that was cut from the original and then added back into the special edition Thief Gold around the time Thief 2 came out. And most people absolutely hate it, which is kind of funny because the missions people tend to hate most in Thief games are ones that are low stealth tomb raiding missions like down the bone horde and the uh, the beginning of Break from Crags Cleft. This is the exception. People hate this one, and it's all it's all stealth and, you know, human enemies and but a large part of that is it's a huge mission with a huge amount of backtracking required. It's a very confusing layout, contributes little to the plot. But, uh, let's, let's get on into it, because I'm, I'm personally kind of a fan of this one, as bad as it is. So I'm going to need a lot of these. I wish I could sell items that I have. Let me switch out this spare rope arrow for a noisemaker. I can reuse rope arrows and noisemakers, so having a lot of each doesn't really matter. I just I want to have at least one of each. So let's get started. Sutter, it's me. Security is necessary to prevent exposure and dilution of talent. Do you want to argue with the lords? Now, what's the password? Hand of shadow, foot of air. Open the door, okay? Well, now he hasn't given me the password. Are you taffing me? Security is necessary to prevent. And I'm standing here listening to Dano tell you the password. Do you think he's gonna let me if I'm not in the guild? Or you think I'm lackwood enough not to remember it? Sutter, I'll put up with your airs of ways, but if you start putting it like I'm that much of a fool, there will be blood. Now open this door! 
That's Sutter. The only surviving member of the expedition to retrieve the Horn of Quintus. Because he just, he left. He got tired of it and left. I don't think this guard will, like, attack me unless I do something illegal. But, uh, I'm about to do something quite illegal. I'm about to rob this place blind. So, just kind of a looping street out here. The front door's locked. Could probably pick the lock, but delivery is to the back door only. Let's, uh, check out this back door. Anything in the cart, incidentally? No? These lockpicks are, like, the single most useful tool, aside from the bow, in the entire series. You start Thief 2 with them already in your inventory, which is nice. <clears throat> Seems peaceful enough now. Don't mind me. Sweet, sweet venison meat. Okay, what else? A loaf of bread. There's a guard patrolling outside. There's the restaurant key. Close it. I didn't mean to open and close that like 20 times. Someone on the upper floor. Where does this dumb waiter go? That is something I would like to find out. So the restaurant key, I'm assuming, does not open that door. That's the door down to the basement where the uh, gambling den is. But it does open the upstairs. Let's uh, not have anyone following me up here. Here comes someone. <clears throat> Just casually close that. I actually not too terribly long ago, I tried to speedrun this game and beat the speedrunning record. This is the mission where it fell apart. He was a 
sleep, so that was entirely unnecessary, but... not to uh, bring every single member of the Thieves Guild running. Let me uh, carefully shimmy down. now. Hmm. <laughs> I'm getting too jumpy. No, you're not. Stay jumpy, my friend. It may save your life. They're so busy gambling their money away, they won't notice if I take a bit. Jack. Hit me. Oh, how silly of me. Of course you'd want to hit on 20. 28? Aw, oh, you lose. Boy, what are the odds of that happening? Yeah, yeah, Taffer. Just deal me another hand. Of course. At this rate, I'll win all your tips for the night. May the trickster find you in the dark. Hmm? Didn't quite catch that. I said, hit me. Yeah, why would you hit on a 20? That's like the single worst move you could make in Blackjack. Is this one of those missions where I have to get back out onto the street? Yes, it is. God, they can't find you when you're backed into corners. <sighs> Always search the corners. And search them thoroughly.
uh, spin that roulette wheel in just a moment, but uh, about to make a pretty ballsy move, so just give me a second. Hey, I got an, an intruder got inside. We have an intruder. that worked. I just, I can't believe that worked. I'm not complaining, though. I'll take that. first time I played through this, I went through that door to get in. <clears throat> Later, I uh, found a better way in. Donal and Reuben can kill each other for all I care. While they fight over the vase, they stay out of my way. Yeah, but while they're squabbling, they ain't fencing the vase, neither. That vase is just gonna stay locked up in Lord Donald's lair. Yeah, but it's not like it's doing Donald any good, since Lord Reuben has the key to the lockup. Ain't doing me no good, neither. That sapphire vase is worth more than the rest of the score from Randall's combined. I didn't become a downwinder to work for free. I want my cut. <clears throat> that particular guard seems a lot more intelligent and uh, cutthroat than perhaps the other guard with that same voice, who is affectionately referred to as Benny because of um, a moment in Thief 2. But, uh, yeah, there's there are two guards in just about every mission with the, those two voices that uh, have amusing little conversations. I like to think of those two as like the... I, I don't know, like... Uh, the anti-Benny, whatever the guy's name is. I don't think the other guard has a name. If the Thief fan community could step in and provide me with one. Stiff Reuben, and you're gonna end up worm food. Look, KB, freelancing is just too damned risky. We pay Reuben, and he keeps the heat off us, helps us move the merchandise, and gives us a place to crash. I guarantee you, the streets won't give you such a sweet deal. Now get your ass north side and pay your tribute. Eh. I don't think he's, uh... It. 
considering everything that's been going on. He's not getting paid for the... What's that? The heist of the century. It's a good thing unarmed NPCs just go down when you hit them once. Now, here's something to notice. Taking out the fire arrow increases your visibility more than any other weapon. The blackjack does, has no effect on your visibility. I think that's where the spiders are. Blackjack has no effect. <laughs> bow and such um, increase it slightly and the fire arrows since they glow um, increase it quite a lot so I'm trying to remember who has the key and who has the safe One of them has the key, one of them has the save. Too many damn rats around here. Where did he go? Did he go down that side passage there? Yes, he did. Now he's going to come back this way. Did that update my objectives? No, it didn't. Um, is that where I am? I honestly have no idea. Quite a lot. I don't know why. I'm very engaged in this. It's very interesting. And I'm not very tired. Till Donald and Reuben quit their bitchin', best we just stick to our own turf. I'm too much Donald's man to risk it Northside. 
I want to say Donald has the key and Ruben has the safe. I'm in the middle sewers now. No? Donald's. Okay. Maybe it's the other way around, because I seem to remember coming this way later. Flash bomb, flash bomb. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Neither of those worked? Why? Lost him. Something. I got you now, Taffa. Guards! Uh. Over here! This is a mess. What have I done? <laughs> got you. That's something. got stuck, but then I, uh... Do I have a speed potion? I feel like I should have at least one. No? Alright. Pretty sure there's one on like a shelf around here or something. Yep. <sighs> That'll help. Just went all Sonic the Hedgehog there for a second. back this way. Also, there's some loot stuck in a little alcove here.
Got him in the end. Took me forever, but I got him. What's that noise? <clears throat> Magrin, use the back door, 47, if you must visit. I don't give a damn what it does to your clothes. I will not risk Reuben's scum following you in. Until I get my key back and the vase is sitting on my mantelpiece, you're just going to have to tolerate the inconvenience. So... Okay. Donald has the safe. Reuben has the key. So, to Reuben's, I guess. Anything behind this tapestry? Probably not, but I love ruining a good, priceless tapestry. What? I can't even ruin the tapestry. What a ripoff. Can I ruin this one? No. I am disappointed! Oh well. I seem to remember there being more around here. I guess not. Anyway, um... Ruben has the key, so I need to go to his place first. So... I'm there. I need to go there. How do I get there? Something on the map about, like, a long hallway, but I don't know where that is. Probably not even the right way. That's to Donald's, because that's... This room here is where I am now. And where the heck is this? How did I even get in here? I am known in this family as being... One with the best sense of direction, and I even tend to get lost in this map. It's pretty bad. Wait, I know where it is. I'm such an idiot. It's just through this door here. Now I need to go north, and that is north. It's this way, though. I know there's that and spiders. I'll come through here later. On my way back. What have we here? Is this a back door? is. Yes, connection to the sewer. Okay, let's see, how did I just come in? Um, I was just in there. That's where I was. And there's that there, and this is the north basement.
Stafford was furious when he got back from his trip and found out his precious scepter had been swiped. We didn't pull that job, did we? You taffer, if we pulled a job on one of Ramirez's people, it would be war. Well, who then? Probably Garrett. He's the only one sly and foolish enough to pull a job like that. <sighs> Don't you move a muscle. Come on out, and I jumpy. promise I'll take care of you quickly. Stay jumpy, my friend. Starting to get pretty good with this bow. on expert difficulty there's a guard that patrols this room makes it very hard to get into these uh, chests because uh, pretty sure on expert you can't knock anyone out that might have been a self-imposed limitation I don't remember but I did eventually get into the chests anyway just had to kind of pick them in stages Get in there. And uh, this is like a back passageway that goes somewhere. Lord Randalls would have smelled better.
just a single candlestick. Okay. And then I'm back here. But uh, the sewers down here. So, let's just, uh... <coughs> quickly. That was pretty close. That was pretty close. Had a guard and a civilian approaching from on either side. <laughs> Just gonna take that. Is that Tom with an H? I'll just call him Tom. Or Thom. Thom sounds funny. But, uh, let's see. Voice should I give Reuben? Thom, you are my number one man. I trusted you to select my personal staff, and you have witnessed for each and every one of them. I have also trusted you with the only key to my mansion because of your unmatched loyalty. But don't think my faith in you means that I will ignore your responsibilities. Consider this a friendly reminder. If, if Donald's people get into my home and get the key to his master safe, you are accountable. And you know I always collect my debts. Reuben. That's Reuben's voice now. And that's Reuben's house key. So I think I'm pretty well good to go. I seem to remember there's also something a little valuable around here. That's required loot for the harder difficulties. Did you see something? Did you see that? No, I didn't see anything. <laughs> I'm getting too jumpy. I'm just a burglar. Mm. Did you just see what I think I saw? No, you didn't. I guess you very much no. didn't. that I snuff those two out just so I can get in through the door. To the best of my knowledge, Reuben does not have a back entrance like Donald does. <coughs> okay. That's him taken care of. Oh, 
Reuben's house. No entry. Pay tribute at Thom's quarters in the north side maintenance rooms. Just casually strolling into the house of some sort of weird medieval crime lord. That nothing. Hmm. Oh well. <clears throat> Should try to save the rest of my water arrows as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Surprise! Oh. Just gonna deposit you over here with the other one. I'll pick it then. Pretty sure this is just a torture chamber with no loot. We'll see. Well, isn't that special? I want to get in the Iron Maiden. Pile of bones and the rib cage and a giant angry spider that I think, if I'm not careful, can glitch through there. I seem to remember there being some sort of loot in there, but I don't think there is, and I'm not going to try it. For all of the severe head injuries I've been causing, I uh, consider myself something of a pacifist and refuse to kill anything. something you thought <clears throat> because you did <clears throat> trust your senses people they don't often lie I mean they do but usually not that much Oh, hello. These two guards tend to give me quite a bit of grief. So I'll take care of them early. I think I knocked one of them out through the door. going on here come out come out wherever you are <gasps> didn't search the corners well enough search the corners stay jumpy trust your senses put it on a t-shirt Some, some 
roast chickens. Actually, those look a little too small to be chickens. Maybe pheasants? Ah, uh, pheasant. I don't think I've ever actually eaten pheasant. I've eaten a lot of things. I've eaten kangaroo and crocodile, but I've never eaten pheasant. There's a chance I had pheasant once and forgot about it, but I don't know. If I did, it was long, long ago. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. I'm from space, like the crystal gems. That's why I'm so weird and unfunny. I don't understand human concepts of humor. Or it could be that I'm just generally not an interesting person. But Hey, if I have viewers, which, as far as I know now, I don't, but if I do, that at least, at least indicates that I'm sort of entertaining, maybe, maybe at least a little interesting, I don't know, this video isn't even uploaded yet, so I don't know how many views it will or won't get, ooh, a little box with a, is that a crown? I just found a tiara in a little box under a desk. And I also found a gun in a dumpster. On a related note, I will probably play Undertale on this channel at some point. I have played through Undertale so, so many times. I did a continuous let's play of it one time. Um, well, not really a let's play, just a continuous playthrough of the true pacifist run on my Twitch. Twelve hours. I did not stop for anything. It was a nightmare. I was dying when I finished. But I did a twelve-hour straight-through complete run of Undertale on Twitch. No commentary, just the game sound because I just, I wanted to have video footage of that. And now I do. A 12 hour long video, non-stop, no breaks from anything. The closest thing to a break I had was playing out the instant noodle gag from, well, I mean, yeah, the incident noodle gag. If you've played Undertale, you probably know what that is. But uh, playing that out as far as it would go. So, like, every time it said, like, two minutes remaining or one minute remaining, I would wait a full minute before hitting the button to, you know, scroll to the next text. Uh, each minute I quickly ran and did something like I got a drink or went to the bathroom but that was the only time I did that and by the end I was super dehydrated really freeze that was terrifying just suddenly awake telling me to freeze Light sleeper, I guess. Not even groggy. Immediately just bolt upright. Freeze! Mm. <laughs> well, I d 
to die. Yeah. Ah, are you kidding me? No, I did not mean to just waste two health potions. Oh well. I have like two more, three more. How many more do I have? Three more. That's actually not bad considering how few I tend to use. Here's the library. Um, in harder difficulties, there would be a scroll here telling me of some other optional thing. Okay, I know for a fact there's like a secret entrance or something around here. I could be wrong, but I distinctly remember entering this room from this wall. It could be that bookshelf, but I don't know how to open it. Or where it goes. Or where I come from, Cotton Eye Joe. I could sing Cotton Eye Joe, but if I do, I'd probably be hit with a copyright strike, so I don't want to do that. Just just take, take the joke as poorly delivered as it was. It, it was a pretty bad joke. I'm not going to lie. Out of all of the jokes I could have made, I made a Cotton Eye Joe joke, and I just completely bombed the delivery. That's the kind of stuff you're gonna see a lot on this channel, so I hope you're ready. I'm not gonna do it. I could make a reference to FNAF, but I'm not going down that road right now. Although I might play Five Nights at Freddy's on this channel at some point. You never know, there's a lot of stuff I wanna do on this channel. Um, I think I might just have enough money to get Prey while it's still on sale. I have it on PS4, and I've been playing through it. Haven't finished it, but uh, I want to play through it on this channel. I want to finish it as a Let's Play. So before I even touch my PS4 again for anything other than maybe Ark or that... Oh, they're going to come through here. I should get out of here. But... Uh, Yeah, before I, like, go anywhere near my PS4 for anything other than playing Ark with friends or, um, maybe Overwatch. It's been forever since I played Overwatch on PS4, but I really need to get back into it. But, uh, I'm probably going to, I want to finish playing through Prey on this computer on this channel, so I'm very tempted to pick it up while it's on sale, but it's, I have to do it today, so I'm not sure if I can, I'm not sure if I have the money. Mistake, 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 mistake. That was a huge mistake. Hmm. Oh. Is there only one guard on this difficulty? Last time I played through Thief Gold was on Expert. The hardest difficulty. As a challenge to myself. And it was definitely that. But now I'm remembering, like, guards being there that are not there on this difficulty. I hope that's the right key. Let's see, his ledger. 100 pound bribe, a thousand pound contract. Tools. Hmm. Nice little nod to one of the writers and also 
her husband, who is the composer for this game. Uh, monthly payment to the sheriff. Rat poison. Steinkraus. I love that name. So German. Steinkraus. I won't get over. I I will not be able to get over that. It's the Steinkraus contract, and you always have to say German words like you're kind of a little bit angry. Steinkraus. Bonus for downwinder Raphael to offer Hammerites a bribe and Raphael's funeral. Yeah, I don't think that bribe went down all that well. Steinkraus! Okay, I'm, that's enough of that. Now I can get my vase. That's the right key. What's this? Keep a close eye on the key. Lose it and a Randall job will have been nothing but a sightseeing trip. I swear that Donald gives thieves a bad name. You give thieves a worse name. Such an obvious, obvious, completely hidden, like you wouldn't even notice it if you hadn't played this game before many, many times. Wall safe. Anyway. Also, I like that he's talking about... This is Ruben's house, right? I love that he's talking about Donald giving thieves a bad name. Ruben's house is, like, objectively the easier to break into. Fewer guards, um, like, it's only got one entrance, but the entrance is guarded by two guards who are very, very easily just snuck past. Two servants who you don't even have to sneak past, you can just knock them out. And, uh, his actual house guard in the house are spread out really thin so you know there's little chance of running into more guards than you can handle at any given time That was easy. Where's that easy button? Staples? I, I need need one of those easy buttons that have been irritating the shit out of everyone for years. <laughs> but yeah, that, that was pretty easy. That was not even remotely challenging. Even the times I screwed up, it was pretty, pretty easy. So now, to backtrack all the way through these sewers, and go all the way over to the other end of the map. Because, you know, level design is a, a, totally not a thing. I, I'm being too hard. I actually really like this mission. It's one of my favorites. It's a long, good, solid mission. It is filler. It's a bit of a time waster, but I enjoy it. It's some good, solid thief stealth. Um, there's also the thrill of out-thieving thieves. I, I wouldn't say it's like one of the... Um, wouldn't say it's one of the most iconic missions in the series. Does that go straight to, uh... I think this 
this one goes straight to Ruben's place or Donald's place. I was just at Ruben's what place. Right here. That wasn't the right one. That do it? No. Some combination of these switches opens that door. It's just finding the right combination. Was just that one switch. What are the ones I've been messing around with then? Where the heck is 14? What's that unmarked thing go to? The world may never know. Anyway, I could just go through there. That's some good level design, actually. It was kind of whining about how, you know, well, you have to backtrack all the way through the level, except the entrance to um, Donald's mansion is literally right there. You walk out of Ruben's place, and there's the entrance to Donald's. It's not as bad as a lot of people claim it is. But, uh, I don't, strictly speaking, want to go through that way. Intruders, though. Who'd break in here? The only action we get is when somebody tries to skim off the top. Well, this vase situation might give you all the action you need. Hey, that's right. Be nice to bust some heads for a change. <laughs> They were talking about the pressure doors. <clears throat> what a what a pain they are. What was what? What are you talking about? I didn't hear nothing. Seems peaceful enough now. <coughs> I might just waste a moss arrow here. Maybe two. Make 
make any sound when I kind of just bludgeon him. So in order to get in, I need to open one of the pressure doors. It's, uh, which one is it? It's through here somewhere, isn't it? So I need to open number 47. Now I could just sneak through the front door, but that's no fun. There's a nifty little puzzle to be had here, so... <laughs> now, there's another way in. Where does this go? There's a tunnel under the water here. That connects to... Where? the one with all the spiders. It was like 48, wasn't it? It's also got some loot and some equipment that I'm not going to pass up. So that's the way in here. That's the way I probably should have come, because you would have heard the beginning of the conversation between those two guards. It would have made a little bit more sense that way. I mean, the brief explanation I gave is probably more than adequate, but... I don't know where 48 goes, but I'll open that anyway. It could be useful later when I have to escape. Which, unlike most missions, I have to do in every difficulty here. Why Sutter's been in you such hear about a bad Sutter's mood job last night? Heard he came in pretty late. Did he get something good? <laughs> Don't he wish? He's up in this lady's bedroom, all quiet like. When he hears feet outside, he got caught. <laughs> Nothing so tame. He can scarp out the way he came quick enough, but he don't want to go till he's got something. So he sweeps everything on the dresser, jewelry, candlesticks, whatnot, into his sack. Gets halfway down the stairs when the sack starts leaping about. What? He's cut the lady's cat, too. Cat claws a hole in the sack. Everything falls out except the cat. And that's halfway up his arm with claws every which way. <laughs> he had to jump in the river to get the damn thing off. Left a trail of blood and water over half the city just going home. Cats are the best. around here. 
actually, you know what? I could get out from the mansion without having to uh, backtrack at all. Hey, Britain. chest is there anything good inside there's a mine I don't use those because I generally try to avoid killing things and that'll kill things that'll definitely kill things so that uh, I don't have to uh, sneak past him. I won't have to. Anyway. I need to do something about these yawning. These yawning. I'll accept it. I need to do something about this yawning. Like, maybe get better sleep. Get, get a better night's sleep. I don't know not wake up so early to get on top of all this filming. It's only an hour of filming at a time. It's not it's not like I need to dedicate a whole day to it. Could just do it any time of day. It doesn't really matter. There. I saw something. No, you didn't. Yes, you did. Can't I hide? Well, luckily that worked out despite not being able to hide. Uh, what was... What was Donald's voice again? For the last time, tell the maid to stay out of the banner room and don't touch anything in it. It's the room where I can have peace of mind. My collection is too precious to risk any clumsiness from cleaning. I do not feel even the slightest bit of remorse stealing from these people. They are the worst. Garrett! 
Why is it that I can never mid-air these guys? It's possible. I've done it before. First time I played through the game, those hammerites and crags cleft in the factory, the ones making the hammers, I mid-aired all three of them. But uh, apparently this time I'm having trouble with that whole process. Just the latrine. What's in here? This is the kitchen where I apparently can't get through the door. That's a problem I've always had in life. I tend not to be able to fit through doorways. Ooh, juicy, juicy, juicy. Big old juicy delicious opportunity for a perfect knockout. Served up on a silver platter. Free of charge. I think this next one might not be so perfect. Might take a little more finesse. What's this? Duke Leonard. Interesting. Cleaning, air freshener, surveillance. I don't think I've ever been in this room before. Anyway, as I was saying, finesse. My eyes must be playing tricks on me. I did not mean to eat that. What was that? A cucumber? I did not mean to eat the cucumber. It was an accident. I swear. Okay, where does this go? That is just a silver nugget. Or gold nugget. That's even better. And this goes into the bathroom. Which again, prior to this playthrough, I don't think I've ever been inside. So just go through here, and that takes me to the same place. Yep. Let's let's look at the beautiful tapestries and painting. What's this? Have I been in here? Yes. Yes, I have. So I can barely see that, but it appears to be a woman. There's a man and a a small boy and another man and someone of indeterminate gender peeking just their face into the frame that's interesting I like Paz kind of anyway Say goodbye to your precious tapestry, asshole. And there it is. In all of its glory. If only it were, you know... Better, just in general. Actually, I can put away all my weapons. I'll just grab it and go. It is a lovely shade of blue, though. It's also very valuable. I 
was going to do uh, a whole joke about uh, Donal and Reuben having this whole whole war over whether it's pronounced vase or vase, but Reuben never actually wrote anything about the, as he would say, the vase. But Lord Donal wrote quite a bit about the vase, so I was I was hoping Reuben would have something to say about the vase, but uh, he didn't. So anyway, that's the outdoors. I am free to go. <clears throat> so yes. That was the mission that everyone in the Thief fan community considers the single worst mission of the game. It's filler, it's stupidly long, you have to backtrack a lot. I enjoy it. It's not my favorite, but I enjoy it a lot more than the Thief fan community, who despise it so much that there are actually mods to remove it from the game. Anyway, let's check my stats. Again, I'm like 400 loot short, but I still have quite a bit. An hour and 17 minutes. That is by far the longest time I've spent on any mission, apart from maybe down in the Bone Horde where I died twice and had to load previous saves quite a ways back. 50 knockouts. 50. Just take a moment to consider. I think my previous record in earlier missions in this same game was like 20. 50. Just, that's the, just the sheer number of NPCs in this mission. Took 14 damage, healed 12. No mid-air knockouts, because the one time I tried this mission, I failed. But anyway, that is the Thieves Guild. This has been Fletcher Fox. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I will see you next time. Good night. Hey everyone, this has been Fletcher Fox. If you liked the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want notifications every time I post a new video, click the little bell next to the subscribe button. Be sure to check out the rest of my channel for more Let's Play videos, and I will see you next time.